And I want to tell you, I am looking forward to the wall tonight. Just the atmosphere in this room right now, I know it will be extended at the wall tonight. Many times in our lives, Greg and I, people have had a prophetic word over us. They've had a dream. They've had a vision. And when that happens, we listen to it. We take it seriously. We ponder it in our heart. We pray over it and allow God to do what he is going to do. And many times we have seen those things come to pass. Greg and I are not people who go lifting up rocks looking for words. We don't go busting through doors or breaking windows trying to find a word. We let God bring it to us. In September, all within a matter of a week, just some divine wondrous things were happening. It was just every day something was happening. But during that one week, I received the same vision from three different people. Now, if I heard it once, I would listen to it, and twice probably, but three times I really took notice. I was like, okay, God's speaking this vision to three completely different people. And I've been pondering that in my heart this last month. And yesterday, as I was preparing for today, I, God, for some reason, doesn't usually let me know what I'm to say until Saturday. And I just am in a posture of opening up my hands and my heart. God, what is it? What is your word? What do you want to say? And I felt impressed to go pick up a book I haven't read in a very long time. It is a book by Maria Eder, Mariah Eder, Maria Eder. Most of you, I'm sure, don't even know who she is. She was born in 1844 and lived till 1924. She is probably, go Google her, she is probably the most dynamic, powerful woman used of God that we've ever had in history. God used her divinely to see miraculous miracles and people healed, people set free, salvation. She just saw an incredible move of God in the late 1800s, early 1900s. And her, she inspires me. She inspires me. A testimony, when you say amen to a testimony, it means God do it again. And if God is the same yesterday, today, and forever, I say amen to everything that God did through her ministry. So I was reading that yesterday, it's her sermons, and I stopped dead in my tracks when I came to this, to this, uh, to this word, to this sentence. What I need you to know is the vision that was spoken to me three times in September was that there was gonna be water flowing from this stage one person said off the right side, there was gonna be water flowing from this stage out through the congregation, out the aisles, out in the parking lot, down the street and into the community. That was the word, okay? But then I read yesterday in the book, it said, for the power of God is like a river of water. God told my heart. Now I've told you four times. Now I have told you four times. And I felt like this is a word that you need to hear now. If he has confirmed it to me four times, he wants you to know it, that this body, this house, is to be the power of God being flow, flowing out of this body like a river of water. In the Bible, the word power is deutimus. It's an explosive power. What's interesting is God has been just sharing me, uh, just having me read over and over about his power this last month. It's deutimus power. It's a power that's put into a container and it's dynamite power. It's an explosive power. It's an overcoming power. It's a power that can defeat any giant. It's a power that goes before and nothing can overpower it. It's almighty. It's a dynamite power. And so the power of God, a dynamite power wants to be 
shown in this place. And it wants to go out like a river of water in the Bible. I looked up yesterday, okay, what does water symbolize in the Bible? It symbolizes many things, but one of it is the Word of God. And how many of you know the Word of God cleanses, it purifies, that the dynamite power of God wants to come and wants to flow out of this body and wants to flow in, it wants to purify our town, it wants to purify this house, it wants to purify and cleanse and see the dynamite power of God move within our land, within our area. You know, the Bible says, in Ephesians 6 10 be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might dunamis power the Bible says in Acts chapter 1 Jesus told the disciples right before he left this earth he told the disciples I want you to go I want you to go hang out in Jerusalem until you are filled with the power of the Holy Spirit to be my witnesses in Jerusalem Judea and Samaria and the ends of the earth I want you to go and wait for the dunamis power to be filled in you by the Holy Spirit so that that you can go be my witnesses. That's Acts chapter 1 verse 8. And then Acts chapter 3, Peter and John are on their way to the temple to pray and they happen, nothing hap just happens to happen, but they come across um, a lame man who's been lame since birth and he's begging for alms at the gate beautiful and Peter sees him and looks into his eyes and says, silver and gold have I none, but what I have I give to you. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. And that man who'd been blind from birth rose up and the Bible said he went jumping and leaping and praising God. And he went into the temple and Peter spoke his first sermon. And the Bible says the very next chapter that 5,000 men came to believe in Jesus Christ. When there is a miracle, there is a salvation. When there is a miracle, a miracle actually means in the Greek, the authentic, the authentication the, uh, of the word of God. It, uh, it authenticates the gospel. It authenticates the gospel to a believer and an unbeliever. It lets you know that his stamp of authority is on it. It lets people know that the gospel is true. And where there are miracles, there will be salvation. And God wants his power to flow through here with the power of the Holy Spirit, the same power that was in Peter when he said to that lame man, rise up. He wants you and I to have the power of the Holy Spirit working in us and in this body right here he wants you to expect a mountain to move he wants you to expect a stronghold to break in you or your family he wants you to expect a miracle that when you pray for someone you can expect that God will raise him up he wants you to expect a move of God he wants you to expect his dynamite power to be used through your life wherever you go our prayer is that God would start it in this house but it would flow out like a river of water and it would flow to wherever you go it would flow to wherever you live it would flow to whoever you talk to please stand this next song it's not just a song it's a declaration of our heart if you need a stronghold to break if you need a mountain to move if you need god to do something miraculous in your heart give it up to him give it up to him he wants the mighty power due to his power of god to flow from this place over you through you out into our community in Jesus name right now I receive your word I receive your vision Lord God may it be may it be you are the same yesterday today and forever and we believe you for all for all that